Alright, so this is going to be my first part tutorial on how to morph your heroes and fire emblem heroes. This first part is just going to show you how to get cheat engine working through Nox. So what you're going to want to download right now, you're going to want to download your terminal emulator and ES file explorer. Now by the way, this is also assuming that you are already rooted in your Nox device. So once you have that, you're going to want to go to your browser. You're going to want to go to the Cheat Engine website. I'll put that into the description. And you're going to want to download uh, Android x86 Cheat Engine 5.5 right there. Now from there, you're going to go into your ES File Explorer. Um, let me go back to the home. You're going to click on your internal storage. Download. And then from here, you're going to click into this. Hold left click, uh, select all, and then you're going to press extract, and then you're going to go to the CE server Android x86. So if you go back a folder, this folder will be created, and from there, you're going to want to do all these. You're going to want to copy them, and right at this moment, you're going to click the menu. Uh, make sure that this root explorer is on, and if it's not, turn it on and grant it uh, super user permissions. So from there, you're going to want to go back home. Actually, you don't have to go back home, but I like to. And then you're going to kind of click on here until you see a forward slash. You're going to click the forward slash. You're going to go to system. You're going to go to xbin. And then you're just going to paste them. So I've already pa I've already done them all, so I'm not going to repaste them. After you do that, you're going to go to your terminal emulator. And let me just kind of get rid of all this because I had it open earlier. You're going to go to super. You're going to type in. SU, whoops, actually let me just reopen it. I think just it being in a different session kind of messed it up. So let's just kind of go back to normal if I can. Um, can I not scroll up? Uh, oh my god. I think this messed up when I was going with this earlier. I'll just close it out. Reopen it. Sorry about that, guys little hiccup in the video. If it'll ever want to open. There we go. So you're going to want to be on this screen. You're going to type SU to granted super user permissions. And you're going to change directory to system. Change directory to xbin. And then you're going to type CE server underscore x86. And then from there you should see something like that. Now that you're, now you're done with the terminal explorer, you're going to want to open up Actually, you're going to want to go to your command prompt and go to wherever your Nox folder is, whether that's in like C program files, your name, wherever. You're going to want to go to the bin folder inside the Nox folder. So going to the command prompt, mine is like this. And then you're going to want to type in this little noxadb.exe forward tcp colon 52736 space tcp 52 colon 736 or colon 52736. Then after that you're going to press enter and you're done with that. So you're going to go into Cheat Engine. You're going to load that up. You're going to hit on the little processes window. Only this time instead of clicking any process you're going to go to network, localhost, and then that same port that you just forwarded uh, in the command prompt. Press connect and then you'll be open. And that's opening up with the apps in here. So you can see if I open up Fire Emblem Heroes uh, is there a refresh? I don't know if there's a refresh button for this, but I'm sure if I re go into it, there it is. So from there, you can do all your editing through here, the same type of editing that you would do with um, uh, with uh, Game Guardian. And that's going to be the first part. The second part is going to be showing how to actually use the cheat engine to mod modify your heroes and morph them into a different hero and I hope to see you guys next time